Hi, everybody. So this is the lecture for chapter 10, which is musculoskeletal. Let's get to it. Share my screen. And away we go. Okay. So chapter 10, musculoskeletal system. And let's cut to the chase. So muscles, you have three kinds of muscles, skeletal or striated muscle, and that's voluntary movement. Smooth muscle is involuntary movement like digestion and your blood vessels constricting or dilating. And then cardiac muscle, myocardium, that's what contracts the heart to make it pump, to pump blood through your body. Uh, there are two divisions of your skeletal system, the axial and the appendicular. Um, so what does it do? It basically gives you a framework, right? Formed the body and protects the body too. Uh, your bones store calcium, some other minerals and blood cells, red blood cells, white blood cells and thrombocytes or platelets are made in the bone marrow of long bones. And speaking of long bones, this just repeats what we just said about the function of the bone. You have four types of bone, short bones, irregular bones, flat bones, and long bones. Long bones, example, the humerus, because it's funny, the femur, which is the thigh bone, right? They're the long bones. They're broken down into two parts, the diaphysis, which is the shaft or the middle part of it, and then the distal and proximal epiphysis, which are the two ends of the bone. So proximal would be closer to the trunk and distal would be farther away. Name three types of muscles, smooth, skeletal, and cardiac. And where are smooth muscles found? And, and are they voluntary? Smooth muscles are not voluntary. They're involuntary and they're found in walls of arteries. It's one example. Four principal bones, short, flat, irregular, and long. The ends of a long bone, the epiphysis, distal, and proximal. What do ligaments do? So remember, ligament starts with an L. L means like. Ligaments connect bone to bone, that's a boo-boo. And tendons connect bone to muscle. There we go. Now let's get to the words. The combining form, cranium, which is cranio, femur, which is this long bone right here, femoro, patella is your knee, Tibio, pertaining to the tibia. The carpals, you have carpals and tarsals. Carpals are here in the hand, tarsals are in the feet. Pelvis would be pelvo. Maxilla, which is your cheekbones, your facial bone, maxillo. Scapula would be scapulo. Oops, and there's an extra A in there. Let's get rid of that and that one too, save the correct spelling. Um, ver vertebrae, the vertebrae are the bones that are along your spine. Uh, and that word is vertebro. And your sternum, which is right in the middle of your chest would be sterno. And don't confuse that with the stuff that you use for cooking outdoors. And let's do some more. So ribs would be costo, radius, which is the radial bone in your forearm would be radio. Fibula would be fibulo, and the fibula is the bone that is in your lower leg. You have a tibia and a fibula from between your knee and your ankle, okay? Tarsals would be tarsolo, which almost sounds like a song, or tarso, and phalangeo for phalanges. Oops, tarso and phalangeo. The phalanges are like your digits. Um, so in other words, your fingers, your toes, okay, considered phalanges. Inflammation of the ribs and cartilage, right? So ribs and cartilage, costochondritis, inflammation of. The act of measuring the pelvis is pelvimetry. A malignant tumor of connective tissue and muscle is a myosarcoma. We don't need two O's there. A cell that breaks down bone is an osteoclast. If it builds up bone, it's an osteoblast. Inflammation around bone is periositis. 
pertaining to under or below your ribs is called subcostal. Pertaining to the sternum and the ribs is sternocostal. And pain in the calcaneum, which is your heel bone, is calcanodynia, which I've not heard ever used ever in my whole career, but that is a word, calcanodynia. Uh, if a bone is porous, that is a condition called osteoporosis. Tumor that's composed of muscle tissue is a myoma. Don't get that confused with myeloma, right? Which is bone marrow. So myo is muscle. Myelo, which is M-Y-E, right? L-O is bone marrow. Binding or fixation of a joint or bone is arthrodesis. And the rupture of a muscle is myorexis. An abnormal condition, something stiff, bent, um, ankylosis. So that's something that can occur in the spine, other areas as well. Weakness or debility of muscle, myasthenia. Uh, there's a disease called myasthenia gravis because gravis because it's serious. Um, and it really is. Softening of the cartilage is chondromalacia and a visual examination of a joint arthroscopy. And, you know, say these words out loud so you get used to pronouncing them. I am not going to go through all of this. Um, you can go ahead and read it because I need for you to know the words and I'm not trying to teach you anatomy, physiology, and pathophys, but they go over bunions, which is just swelling of the joint, usually of the great toe. And ganglion cysts, which happen in wrist, hand, or foot, and they're just like little fluid-filled sacs. Sometimes they're painful. They go over fractures. I will briefly just tell you, a fracture means a broken bone. A broken bone can be broken, like this place, or it can be just cracked. So, and they give you all the explanations here. A closed or simple break, okay, which is this one right here. Closed just means that the skin's not open. The bone is broken inside. An open or compound fracture is a break of a bone where there's a wound on the outside that leads to the fracture site and a piece of the bone is sticking out. Okay, makes sense? There the complicated broken bone injuries um, and internal organs such as the lung. I don't know what we're gonna we're gonna skip that. Comminuted, that is a thing. That is a bone that gets splintered into teeny tiny, like pulverized into teeny tiny pieces. Uh, impacted, the end of the broken bone gets like wedged into inside another bone. Okay, not common. Uh, an incomplete fracture uh, means that there's a crack in the bone, but it doesn't go all the way across, right? It's partial, so it's incomplete. Green stick, this, this children usually get green stick fractures. So it's a break in the bone where the bone's kind of bent, partially bent and split, if you can see that picture. Um, kids that have rickets get these very frequently because they're, they're typically bow-legged. Adults have to have extraordinarily soft bones for them to get a green stick fracture. It's usually children. And we're not gonna get into the collies fractures, uh, signs and symptoms, treatment. So there are open reductions and closed reductions and so on and so forth. Um, we're gonna just zip through this, all these clinical exercises, rheumatoid arthritis, which is an autoimmune disorder, osteomyelitis, infection of the bone, right? You knew that as soon as you heard the word, right? Gout. Gout's the rich man's disease. I will tell you that. Um, Middle-aged and older men typically get it, and it comes from excessive uric acid, and it's from eating foods that are rich in purine, foods like rich foods, like brown gravies and steak and lobster and mussels, scallops. I'm not going to go through all of these either. They go through some procedures like a total hip arthroplasty, arthrocentesis, laminectomy, arthroscopy is visual examination of the joint. Myelography is where 
you're, we're looking at the spinal cord after we put contrast medium in, we're looking for things like, you know, um, any kind of deformities, um, any kind of obstructions, her herniated discs, lesions, those kinds of things. Rheumatoid factor, they don't use that much anymore. Um, here we go, build medical words. So visual examination of the joint, not to be redundant, arthroscopy. Pertaining to the neck and face is serviofacial. And diseases of the bones and joints is called osteoarthropathy. Say that three times fast. The act of measuring the pelvis is pelvimetry. Suturing a muscle, myorophy. Tumor of a bone marrow is myeloma, right? Tumor of the muscle, myoma. Those two can be confusing. And then they go through some pharmacology, which is not part of medical terminology. So I am gonna stop sharing. Make sure you know the words in that lecture. Pretty straightforward. Um, and if you have any questions, you know how to get me. The next one will be chapter 11, the urinary system and peace out. See you guys later. Have a good night.